Young Dolph family. Young Dolph's beautiful family, ladies and gentlemen, got some breaking news that they wanted to share with us. They finally speak to the people over a week after Young Dolph, the Memphis legend, has tragically lost his life. Now, we're about to listen to the family. Well, not listen, but I'm going to read what they wrote and also show you what they wrote. You know what I mean? They make a statement following their loved one's death, and I think it should be something read, you know, with all of us together. I'm going to read this, but let's pay some bills first by... You feel me? Liking, subscribing, and rocking with I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute, gang. Now, as you can see here, Dolph, being in the situation that he's in, met his untimely uh, I don't want to say death like that. I'm trying to find good words without, you know, sounding dramatic or anything like that to be ruled towards the legend that he is. Now, Dolph lost his life. We know this. The family responds to what happened and the words kind of just break my heart. You feel me? Not even a little bit. I'm not even faking it too. It's like, damn, bro. People are not thinking about what the kids have to go through. Now, let's read the words. The family of Young Dolph released a statement Wednesday, just a week after the Memphis rapper was fatally shot while getting cookies at the local bakery. And I'm not gonna say the bakery's names. I'm not gonna give them free promotion. I'm sorry, y'all. I do not wanna give the bakery promotion. They're getting way too much promotion, in my opinion, and money, and making it about them, and now they dedicated a cookie to Dolph as if I don't know that's gonna make them more money. Let's just stop the charade. Now, now, the family of Dolph released a statement Wednesday, you feel me? They said Dolph's family statement included a quote from Arthur Rudy Yard Kipling that reads, if you can talk with the crowd and keep your virtue or walk with the kings that, uh, that read, you feel me? And I'm gonna read the whole thing, but I want pictures to go along with this. I hope y'all don't mind. Um, let me put the pictures to go along with this and I'll be going back and forth so y'all can read it. I just wanted to see his beautiful family shown if y'all don't mind. Now Dolph family said, let me go back where I was, I apologize. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with set, uh, minutes with set 60 seconds worth of distance, run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more you'll be a man my son you can read the statement in full below i'm gonna read that for y'all but honestly for me this is tragic bro none of it adds up nor makes sense as far as bro like was it worth it to take someone's soul like that i mean i don't think any of that was worth it bro if anything, you got me feeling even more sad for the family. Now, I'm going to continue reading what I was reading. Just wanted to give y'all, you know, some more things to read. Now, after the family wrote that, you know, uh, there are no words that can exist that sufficiently express the pain we are feeling as a family. Losing Dolph, man, man, changes our lives forever. And while we will take each day as it comes... We are comforted in knowing that he leaves a legacy that reflects his heart. I mean, y'all, they go even deeper than this. I'm just stopping a little bit, you feel me, to um, more, you know, explain uh, closely who he is to everybody listening and watching. And maybe, maybe if I put this in the screen, too, I can help y'all out. Now, they said... We um, um a heart that was for his family, a heart that was for the people. We are grateful for the outpouring of love. We are grateful that his godly obligation to show kindness to the world is being acknowledged. As a family, we are blessed to call him our son, our nephew, our brother, our cousin, our partner, and our father. That one hits the heart. And now we have the honor of calling him our angel, a role he has always played. Last Wednesday, y'all know about Dolph losing his life in Memphis, unfortunately, to a, a lot of wild behavior, bro. Like, it, it wasn't even called for to be 
quite honest with you, bro, I feel like whoever's responsible for that, you got to deal with the pressures of doing that, of making a mother motherless and a widow, making kids fatherless, you know, out here in these dangerous streets where you need the protection and guidance of a father, my personal opinion, you feel what I'm saying? So right now, it's a lot of things that make me just feel, man, is it worth to take anybody's life for these situations? It, it's, it's not... It doesn't even add up to when people do all this behavior. I know it sounds cool. The best thing is to act like you're the coolest dude in the room and, and act like this nature of event is normal when it's not being of a human, bro. In all honesty, it's not being of a human, man. And the only thing I can say to Dolph dying is it, it's sad, bro, because you got really young people who do look up to somebody who comes from where they come from so nobody could ever talk down on them, tell them they're not going to make it. They understand they'll always make it and overcome those trails of tribulations, bro. And now we get to see the light, the day, and the truth come about. And that truth is Dolph himself has the recipe of the plight of pain and countless moments of succeeding, bro. He succeeded so much that he won too much. DJ Cali screams and the echoed words of all I do is win. Well, young Dolph don't need to scream it. He embodies what all I do is win means. He is the definition of all I do is win. And that's why that one does hurt the heart. They took a real one out the game with in a world full of so many fakes and snakes and jakes. It was good to see the ones who do it the right way. So to lose Dolph in this type of manner, I think I get hurt by any rapper or any human being dying in a senseless way because it's like that could happen to me too so if you somebody who don't care about the situation with Dolph you gotta reflect yourself in that mirror and think about your loved ones what happened when it happens to you or if it happens to you let's knock on wood I'm just giving you a realization bro like this ain't the way to do this this ain't the way to make it go out and the way they went out with this was a wild wild west one bro Dolph will forever be in our memory. He'll be etched in stones as it's the independent man himself. Whether he was signed to Empire or not, I'm not about to argue with that or not. In my eyes, he is the independent man that could. You know, people want to complain if I say pre. They say, why don't you just say P-R-E? Hey, man, I'm going to say it the way Dolph said it and the way how I feel like it. It's giving love and respect to this king that he is. To the people who try to nitpick and argue and complain about meaningless things just to get in an argument. You guys are the virus that we're trying to clean up the city away from. We're trying to clean up the good people away from. We don't care about your nagging. And to the other people who are like, this is your 50th video for. Bro, I don't see you complaining when the news put the same not the same videos but the same topic and update you so yes i'm a journalist whether you like it or not i will keep updating people on this case i'm also a fan of young Dolph, so part of me being a fan as well i do want to know about this case to update on it and will there be educational purpose you know a resolving situation i'll give closure to everybody involved in this you know what i mean you got some real fans out here who want me to go hard in the paint so i can't worry about those one percent of you who just wake up every day to be negative Dolph is a legend i will treat him as one meaning that you don't just talk about him one time and you leave it alone and you move on you think Dolph would want it that way exactly so i don't sit back worrying about the one percent who have criticisms every day of their life the only thing i have for them is wisdom listen if you are these people i describe these people who are complaining every second every day and you can't smile where well, there is a god and he loves you or she loves you whatever your ideal image of god whatever pain you're going through you'll be all right fam your anger ain't with me you just bitter towards something that bothers you every day to see somebody else win and make it it has to hurt you and hurt you because you don't believe in yourself so everybody else being in a positive light you see it in a negative light because you want them to be in your very own negative light i only have words of wisdom for you i can't go back and forth with you but i can tell you it's gonna be okay it's going to be all right. Whatever hurts you going through to make you wake up every day for years to chase and stalk somebody, to give an outdated opinion that nobody cares about, that's something different. And the only thing I can do is pray for you. And I'm not being fake. I honestly hope whatever you're going through, you can resolve it and solve this problem quickly as possible. Because that type of hurt 
to make you stalk somebody and wake up creating fake accounts to seek that person's attention is the strangest, weirdest thing in the world because that's not doing anything to me. All I do is look at it and I take note in my head Damn, thank you, God, for making me be the man I am, because if I ever fall down to be some of you individuals, I can't. This will always be about Young Dolph, regardless of how hard you try to make it to be about you. Rest in peace to the Dolph, man. Rest in peace to man, man. And my condolences to your family and any of your family members who are watching this video, which I know they are. Y'all have a blessed day. Like I said, every single one of my videos, no matter how people hate, I say this in every single video. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.